Hey everybody, welcome back to Burner Rubber Garage. We had an issue after the last video. This is going to fix that issue. Uh, the issue we had is I had just pulled it outside in the sun for the Torx ceramic shine. And on the way back in, I gave it a little gas to get in and we split this hose right here. Can you see it? It's just old and cracked. Um, I wish I had a light. I have this light. It's just old and cracked and split. It's the original. I don't even think it's original. I don't think it's really rated for temperature. I can't see anywhere on it where it is. Uh, it seems just like a hose they found. We still have a little coolant laying around down there. But we're going to fix that today. And then inside I've got two of my three Sun Pro gauges that are not working. And I believe it's going to be as simple as a uh, bulb change. So first we're going to start off with that because that's going to be the main title of this. I looked around, couldn't see where anyone had shown anyone how to do it. Very easy. So come with me. Let's go in the cab here and knock that out. All right. So as you can see here, we're working on the Sun Pro. Uh, it's very popular. I think a lot of other gauges are the same. I'm going to take a screwdriver and just kind of help push this out just a bit. I got the I wasn't able to get it with my finger. So here's the bulb. It's an interesting bulb. These two, the uh, oil and temp, were not working. So I bought these. They're a 53 by Sylvania. They're kind of expensive. But uh, then you just got to take them, slide them in, push them in, and you're good. So that's really not bad. You're going to push down on the bulb. Can you see it okay? Push down on the bulb and turn it. These will pop out. This is what I got. Sylvania long life you just take this spin it slide it and turn it in it should hold um, mine are set up a little interesting the headlights have to be on and the key has to be on and you'll have lights so it's a very very simple process I did not see a video on this so hopefully this helps you out uh, I was freaking out for a minute because I did not get them to light up but let's show you how to put this back in I don't want to leave it on too long or they do get a little warm so now what we've got right here, if I can show you right like this, let's get that wire out of the way. Get this to go and push it right in. Make sure this doesn't ground out on anything else. And you should be good. So let's bring them up here. Sorry it's a little messy in this. We are going to detail uh, this by vacuuming, cleaning, shining up. So I've got my lights on. You notice there's nothing there, but as soon as that key goes to the on position, all the lights are showing up perfectly so uh, you can get some of these that are LED we may do that in the future but before all I had was the volts gauge which is which is cool but I really needed a little more so now we've got the water temp and the oil so hopefully that helped you out let's head up under the hood and replace the hose that broke so we got that taken care of what we're gonna do under here this just has two clamps we are probably going to spill a little coolant if it hasn't already bled out all the way already so uh, we're just going to take these off of course this one's not the right way so i'm gonna have to get a wrench for that one but let's pull that's still a little more should just be two clamps now normally what you've got going on here is one of them will run here and the other one will run there so the hot coolant goes into here runs through a mini radiator in there that it gets hot like this does a fan blows through it and will put heat into the cab and then it recirculates back to the uh radiator here which then cools it down puts it in the motor which keeps it cool it heats it up throws it over here and the cycle continues that's why when you have your heater on and it's not fully warmed up you don't get warm heat when you're fully warmed up you get hot heat if you're running really hot outside it's just a day maybe this isn't doing its job your fan stopped one trick you can do turn your fan on high your your inside air fan on high and crank it all the way to heat. I know it's going to be miserable because if it's hot enough outside for your vehicle to heat up, last thing you want is heat, but it could help get you home. So, because this little guy right here, it'll dissipate a lot of heat before it even gets back to the radiator and help it. So, with that, I'm going to take these off and we'll see if this hose will go from here to here. So, we'll see you in just a second. So, I just replaced the, uh, the hose here. Nothing too crazy. I did spill some coolant, so be prepared for that. Um, I'm going to use a I'm use a wrench, but I think it will just be faster to use a flathead. I'm going to tighten this back down, and then we'll top it off. Uh, this hose that was on here was definitely not really rated for heat. I don't know what it was. Um, we'll take a look at it here, though. 
that should just got the clamp on this hose was a really tight fit this is a heater hose though so it should fit this is what we pulled off it doesn't have any of the white lining in the middle it kind of gives a little strength it's just a piece of hose that's going to go in the trash so this is just a two foot section just had to get from here to here eventually down the road we're going to replace this with one that works which is uh, exciting to me and figure out what that blue wire is going to so um, with that we am top this off I want to say thank you for watching if you can subscribe hit that like button uh, if you like the C10 project what we're doing here there is playlist there's a playlist on this truck frostbite there's a playlist on the orange truck and there's a playlist on the uh, 70 blue suburban Papa Smurf so with that being said, thanks again for watching. It was a quicker video. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.